about to go on a food tour here in Chengdu, hosted by the company Lost Plate Food Tours. As a foreigner living and traveling in China, it can be really daunting to find restaurants that have food that I like because I'm not always that familiar with the local cuisine or what foods to eat. That's why whenever I travel, I always do a food. Tour. It is the number one thing. When I'm in a new city, I want to know what's the best food, where do I get it, and how do I say the name so I can order it correctly. And that's why I am going on a Lost Plate food tour here in Chengdu. We are going to five different restaurants, and at the end, we're gonna stop at a bar. I've got stretchy pants with an elastic waistband, and your girl is ready to get my eat on. Before we start, I have to introduce. Myself, I'm Chino.、Uh, writing articles for website and magazines about the food and the travel,、oh. uh, business management. Wow,、uh, that's another part of story. But、wow. today we're talking about food only. If you're ready, let's grab our beer. Hey, hi, come hey. back. First stop, and the Mandarin name is written there: egg baked pancake.、Oh. So, and bake by this brown pan, and make a ta taco shape wrapper, and put some fillings into it.、Oh. So personally, I call it a Chengdu taco. Chengdu taco. Yes. So this is not like jam bing. It is not jam bing. Mixture. The wrapper mixture is made from egg, wheat flour, and sugar, fermented for around two or three hours, and is then baked.、Oh. You feel like crispy edge and. And uh, soft and egg aroma.、Oh. Then choose your Chinese flavor filling. That's your nang ming and spicy beef. Whoa! Hey, this is beautiful. It's almost the size of like a Mexican street taco. There is the inside. But let me give you a little flavor profile. Mmm. So the outside almost tastes like an American cafeteria school lunch pancake, but like a little eggier. The beef mixed with some Sichuan pepper, and it was a more mild spice. It's more flavorful than like a hot feeling on your tongue. It tasted delicious. All right, we have made it to stop number two, which is a very famous dumpling house here in Chengdu. It was actually voted Chengdu's best dumpling house. In Sichuan, we call it chao shou. Chao shou. That's a Sichuanese dialect,、uh, which means cross your arms. <laughs> that that, de that <laughs> describes the rapper crop. Cross his arms like this. Chao shou. Chao shou. Chao shou. It's written there. That's two words. Chao shou. Chao shou. Yeah. Telling that in history, you just need five minutes to get everything ready. So usually you will see a queue standing on the street and cross their arms like this, <laughs> and you know they are waiting for chao shou. But it's just a story. <laughs> Oh my god!、Mm. This tastes very fresh. The dumpling skin is such a good consistency. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. It's not too doughy. And the sesame and the peanuts, I love it. It's so good. Dry chili flavor dumpling. Already, we can see the difference with the color of the seasoning. It is red, and we can see all of those chili flakes and the green onions. Mm. 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 Oh yeah, it's a hit, knocking out of the park.、Whew. Okay, definitely feeling the spice now. This is the thing about Sichuan pepper is you don't always feel it right away, but like after you've ingested it, and about forty-five seconds later, that heat starts rising. So we have made it to stop number three. We're gonna get some noodles at the same place that Anthony Bourdain went to when he visited Chengdu. Don Don Tian Shui Mian, named after a much beloved Chengdu noodle snack. Oh yeah, now we're talking. I've never been good. Oh yeah, that is awesome. So it's all spicy.
actually. Yeah. Is this a longevity noodle? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mm. It looks chewy. Is it chewy? It's very good. Oh, it's very it dense. Wow. I don't. I've never had a noodle this thick. What's the taste like? The sauce flavor is sweet, as we said, tian, but uh, also thick, like molasses, like honey. Like it, it feels like a honey texture on your tongue. The well, peanuts are really good. I love peanut noodles, so I love this. This is pasta salad with the Sichuan flavor. Hmm. Yeah, sugar, vinegar. Sichuan flavors meets pasta salad meets a sweet coleslaw. That's what this reminds me of. It's not too spicy. Uh, looks red, but actually not mm-hmm. spicy. But it's good. <laughs> but I have learned to appreciate the slurp. And, let's do it. Uh, oh, let's do it. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> This is like a egg that's been like underground in a salt mine. I think it's an egg. Sichuan is style golden century. Yeah. I mean, Jess, can you pick it up? Sure. Knock it on the table. <laughs> this is like yeah. a rock. This is a weapon, <laughs> not an egg. <laughs> it's 80 days old. 80 days. 80 days. So first, we've got this egg, the golden century egg. I'm open. Unopen, and then when you open it up, okay, it, is. it turns into a jelly golden orange egg. We seal this egg in alkaline environment for 40 days and keep it in touch with air for another 40 days. The color will get dark and fade again. The protein changes its property, getting into a golden color. This is tofu, fried, deep fried tofu. Fried tofu. With a bread on the bottom. Oh, these are bean sprouts. Yeah, water boiled bean sprout. This is a... Bean sprout leaf, right? Yes. So this is Sichuan pepper. Sichuan pepper powder. I would suggest uh, you try a yolky piece. Oh, like this one? Yes, the, the flavor will be... Oh, wrap it in the sugar. Oh. There we go. Yeah. What an experience in my mouth that just was. I mean, like, I think at first the crunch and the sweetness throws you off. That's the first layer. And then the second layer is like funky egg. I would have never tried it if I wasn't on this food tour. And this is what makes the Lost Plate food tours so incredible. Bye bye. The last stop on the food tour is a pub wine bar. So we're gonna go and drink some Chinese style wine. So, I think it's this jar that is home to the delicious plum wine. All of these jars are filled with delicious wine. Thank you for coming to this day. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. You are an incredible, incredible, incredible guy. Cheers. Oh, this is so good. This is like a 20% alcohol by volume. It's plum wine. Every single dish I had tonight was incredible. Every single dish was so unique and unlike any other food I have had in China. No lie, this food will knock your socks off. So a huge thank you to my friends at Lost Plate Food Tours. Chino was the perfect guide who went above and beyond to explain every intimate detail about the food and the flavors and the level of spiciness and the stories behind. If you come to Chengdu, you must do this. There is no better food tour out there than Lost Plate. And when you guys sign up for one of these tours and use my promo code that is right here and also in the description box of the video, I can save you some money and you can taste every single delectable dish that I had tonight. And Lost Plate food tours are not just in Chengdu. If you want to see more food content, you can check out the Lost Plate food tour I did in Beijing. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, share this video with all of your friends who are interested about Chinese cuisine. You know what it is. Elise Lightyear, over and out.